so what is risk knowledge? It's it's getting it's gaining information on um, where are um, where, where are things like where where are the the in this case like the floodplains what what existing floodplain information is available where are populations where do they where are the actual people that could be impacted by the flooding where are there special considerations that you need to take into account for example hospitals and schools have have special considerations when you're thinking about the people because they're not they may not be at home, they may be at work, they may be, um, well, in the case of hospitals, people are in, um, you know, they may be in a hospital bed where equipment is keeping them alive. Um, roads are an important piece too, because you wanna understand how people can get around during the floods and what roads are still open and what roads are closed. You wanna have information on evacuation routes because you wanna know whether the flooding or the inundation is gonna actually block certain evacuation routes and people have to use other routes to get to places. Um, you wanna have information on the, the drainage areas that you have. You wanna have information on um, in, um, flooding. You may, and, and you may even do um, simulations and modeling to, to sort of predict the impact of you know, say some some event that you that you're worried about happening to your area, and, and you do those simulations, and it gives you information. But all all that information together is sort of combined into what we call risk knowledge. 